Now we're hitting the bottom of the line. I saw all my VHS's now. Some, I mean, I saw my DVDs now. And I've seen some VHS's. Now here's the rest of the VHS's. Um, what I have going on here is that I, uh, the new VHS's I just recently bought, I'll put right here for me to watch soon. Uh, Robot Monster, considered one of the worst movies. I just, I mean, look at that cover. I just, I had to buy it. I got this from my grandma's house. I mean, just look at 30 great one-punch knockouts. Who wouldn't want to buy that? MASH, the uh, movie, the thing the TV show was based on. i never seen this, but here are really good things. I thought this was Batman Returns, and I haven't seen it. And I opened it and found out it's the movie Fluke. I was like, that's what I get for going to Savers and not opening stupid VHSs. But... Here you go, here's a bunch of VHS's I have, um, I have 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. This, I don't know, I just don't really like this cover. I, I just, I don't think it really gets the essence of the movie. <laughs> it's a really old VHS, so. Actually, one of the few that come from my, uh, my, uh, town's old video store, and, you know, I really miss that place. Uh, Ace Ventura, All the Right Moves, that's a movie with Tom, uh, not uh, Tom Cruise, you know, old football movie. Annie, Bill Cosby himself. This is like a, I think it's a sketch video. Batman, you know, 1989 version. Batman the movie, the uh, 60s movie. Beaches. I haven't watched that yet. <laughs> big shots. Ah, big shots. I gotta take this out. I gotta, I gotta talk about big shots for a second. Here is a movie that I just... I, I don't know, they stole a Mercedes with a body in the trunk who says 11 year olds don't know how to have fun. I saw this as a kid, I just, I just had to get it, but, yeah, see it's an Ivan Reitman production, but it's just, I've never, I've never heard of this movie and nobody's ever talked anything about it and I might eventually review it. Maybe in hopes that like it'll get some attention. I won't even say it's really a good movie. I just remember watching it as a kid. I just want to talk about it. Brave Little Toaster, really, really good animated movie. Casablanca, Casablanca again. There's one that's not open. There's one that's opened, you know. Really good movie. Citizen Kane, here is probably... Okay, if we were doing a project in class on like... You know, like a Photoshop or desktop publishing class. Yeah, this would be a perfect example of really messing up contrast. Look at this. You can barely like read the word Orson Welles, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. They're just. And then there's just, this is a really old VHS, but like really just this little write up on the back. No pictures. Just calling it. Oh, Orson Welles spellbinding story of one man's rise to enormous power and corruptive influence. Just. I don't know, they did not get the essence of the movie. Uh, I just, I, there's so many VHS covers that just do not get the essence of the movie. Uh, Close Encounters, Doc Hollywood, Dr. Doolittle, Aaron Brockovich, E.T., Far From Heaven, Field of Dreams, Final Analysis for the game, for the love of the game, <laughs> and Goodwill Hunting. This is a really, it's a pretty good movie. Hand That Rocks the Cradle. The Hobbit, the uh, 70s cartoon. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, really, it's a really inventive film. I really like the effects in this movie. Hook, It's a Wonderful Life, one of my favorite movies. Jaws, Jurassic Park, Lost World, Jurassic Park 3. Actually, I haven't seen these two. I haven't heard good things, so yeah, <laughs> not too excited. Just Like Heaven, that's actually a pretty funny movie. I like it, all right. Just Married, Liar Liar, Little House on the Prairie. I think this is just the pilot. <laughs> The Little Princess, this is just a Shirley Temple movie. The Man Without a Face. The Mask. The Matrix. Medicine Man. Men in Black. Mother. Ooh. This movie is just called Mother. Mrs. Doubtfire. And then here's some just random. Anastasia, King and I. Elmo in Grouchland. Yeah. I bought this for a dollar at some. Well, actually, I think a quarter. Eh, whatever, I probably paid too much. <laughs> um, oh, moving over here. First, let's start out with uh, American Werewolf in London. Still gotta watch it, hear good things about it. Fargo, I've actually seen this. I just, I've never seen it on VHS or DVD. I saw it online and 
I figured I'd want to watch it again. And Total Recall, another movie I've heard good things about, I just have never seen. Uh, a thousand and one movies you must see before you die. This is actually a book. It's the only book on this shelf, but, you know, this is the newest edition. Actually, the 2013 edition. I, yeah, this is a pretty fun book. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. This is the VHS version. Oh, brother, where art thou? One of my favorite movies, Raging Bull. Look at this. Now, look at the back of this. The back cover, like, shows him, like, it's almost making it look like it's after a match and he's hugging his wife and, like, they're all happy. That is not what this movie's about. This is, like, this has not... I never saw this movie, but I was waiting for that ending, and it never happened. I don't even think this scene happens in the movie. So I don't know where this came from. Um, Rain Man, I was pretty underwhelmed by that movie. The Replacements, Raiders of the Lost Ark, good movie, I, like I said earlier, and then the rest of the Indiana Jones. This is my personal favorite, Last Crusade, that's my favorite one. Uh, Save the Last Dance, Ronald McDonald and Scared Silly. Just these old VHS's McDonald's used to sell. Scooby-Doo, the live action movie. Yeah. Scooby-Doo and the Boo Brothers, ooh. I hear that's pretty bad. <laughs> Secondhand Lions, See No Evil, Hear No Evil. Seven again, that's that creepy movie. Shakespeare in Love, I hear this won a lot of Oscars. Must mean it's pretty boring. <laughs> Short Circuit, Short Circuit 2. Sing Along Songs, Fun with Music. This is just, I think this is, I'm not gonna, uh, uh, This is a sing along of a, yeah. Sing Along of Oliver and Company. Mostly because that movie never gets recognition by Disney. It was nice that they made a sing-along. I bought it because I like that movie. Sleepless in Seattle. Summersby. Summersby. Yeah. Star Wars, the original version. There's not... This is before the special editions, and this is the only copy I've ever seen of Star Wars that's not edited up. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It, the making of the Coming Out of Their Shells tour. If you have not seen the review of this, I recommend it. This movie is just bad. U571, Usual Suspects. I actually think that's a pretty boring movie. <laughs> Ain't the shatter on anybody's world, but I think it's only super high on IMDb's list because it has a twist ending. I literally think that's all because I do not enjoy that movie. Wayne's World. What about Bob? Winnie the Pooh. A birthday party in the Hundred Acre Wood. Yeah. And The Wizard of Oz, another really good movie. I don't know if this is the one where it's black and white instead of sepia, and I have no idea why it became black and white, because I, I have no idea. Uh, these are some old cases I have from my video store, and I just put some labels on VHSs that had no cases. Winnie the Pooh, Pooh Party. This is actually the same VHS as this, except it has some different marketing logos. So I guess I just kind of repackaged the same episode. Uh, the Parent Trap, that's the remake. Little Rascals, I think that movie's pretty funny. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, ugh. My, I've been doing a TA for my band, and they've been watching this movie, but they've been watching it for each elementary class, so they have to keep restarting it for each class, and I've, I'm like memorizing every song, and it's, ugh. Chitty chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, we love you, yes we do. Chitty chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang. Ugh. Babe, Big Fat Liar, this is another really good Hollywood movie. Even though it's like a kid's movie, it still kind of gets the same deal of the trick, like how tricky Hollywood is, and it's a really good movie. The How the Grinch Stole Christmas, live action, uh, that movie's pretty boring. Miracle on 34th Street, that's actually a pretty good remake, I actually really like this movie. Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, I would prefer you watch this over the live-action version. If you want to see, like, Scooby-Doo, the movie, this is probably the one to watch. It's basically, actually, almost the same plot as this one. In a lot of ways, they have a lot of similar plot, but this one's just a lot better. And Scooby-Doo's Greatest Mysteries, if you want to see some of the best Scooby-Doo episodes, because, you know, they're all so different from each other, they don't all follow the same basic plot line, then this is the VHS for you, yeah. Down here we have some uh, just double VHSs. You know, these are the double, like two 
There's like two VHSs. Scarface. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life and Scrooge. There's just two movies in one. Titanic. My Fair Lady. I have yet to watch this. And Saving Private Ryan. I think this is the uh, li special limited edition. I think this is like an extended version. And then, of course, we got all these VHSs. We have uh, DuckTales, the movie, Treasure of the Lost Lamp, Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas, Pocahontas 2, The Tigger Movie, The Book of Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Seasons of Giving. As you can tell, I used to be a kid. I have all these wonderful Disney VHSs. <laughs> Return of Jafar and Aladdin, The King of Thieves. These are actually two um, direct-to-video sequels that were pretty good. Toy Story, Toy Story 2. This is... Probably getting wrecked from how many times I've watched it. Snow White, Pinocchio, Fantasia, Dumbo, Bambi, Fun and Fancy Free, Melody Time, Ichabod and Mr. Toad, Cinderella, Alice in, Wonderf Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, Lady and the Tramp, Sleeping Beauty. I think I'm getting close to having each, all of the Disney VHS. I'm missing a couple, like, of the package films, like, um, The Three Calabros and, um, What's that other one? The one that's pretty much the same movie. It's like... No, I can't remember the name of it. But there's a couple. I'm missing a couple. Like, I know I'm missing Make Mine Music also. And I I have a yet to uh, get a couple of those. Um, Winnie the Pooh and Christmas 2. I watch that every year. It's a really good Christmas special. Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin. I think that's a pretty, that's a pretty fun movie. 101 Dalmatians. Haven't seen it in years. Uh, the guy who plays um, Dr. House and Mr. Uh, Mr. Weasley from the Harry Potter films are the burglars in this movie. <laughs> and there's like a funny picture of it online and I don't know, I think it's funny. Iron Will, that movie was filmed around my area where I live. And it's like, because, you know, Minnesota, nobody films movies, but this movie was. And made our town back then. I wasn't like even born yet, but eh, people talk about it still. Muppet Christmas Carol, probably the best Christmas movie. I mean, I'm guessing besides maybe, I don't know, Christmas Vacation. Princess Diaries, that's my sister's, that's in here. I don't really like that movie. Uh, here's just some of my, these are some of my favorite movies are on VHS. I kind of put them on display, you know, Back to the Future, Forrest Gump, Fight Club, Truman Show, and Roger Rabbit. It's funny, Truman Show and Roger Rabbit, these are the only copies I have of this movie. I don't even have them on DVD or Blu-ray, which... Should probably get the work done on um 101 okay this is continuing from over here of all the Disney movies 101 Dalmatians Sword in the Stone Jungle Book Aristocrats Robin Hood Winnie the Pooh Rescuers Fox and the Hound Black Cauldron Great Mouse Detective Oliver and Company Rescuers Down Under Beauty and the Beast Pocahontas Hunchback of Notre Dame Hercules Tarzan Fantasia 2000 You're probably wondering why the heck would I not have Aladdin and Little Mermaid and The Lion King. That's because my sister took those ones. I just haven't bought them yet. And I already have them on Blu-ray, so it hasn't been top priority. I'm trying to find them. Don't worry. Ugh, something fell. Uh, down here, I have some of the uh, Ma and Pa Kettle movies. The Egg and I. The, uh, the Further Adventures of Ma and Pa Kettle. Ma and Pa Kettle Go to Town. Ma and Pa Kettle Back on the Farm. Ma and Pa Kettle On Vacation. Ma and Pa Kettle At Home. I live next, really close to a town called Kettle River, and they do Mom Pa Kettle Days, and my dad or mom or somebody really got into these movies, so they have a couple. That's not the whole series. There's like a ton of those movies. Uh, here's some Christmas VHSs. Just, you know, Barney waiting for Santa. Yeah, yeah. Like I said earlier, I used to be a kid. And, um, it's funny. If I watch, if you watch this, uh, Barney looks kind of demented. He's got, like, these darkening around his eyes and the the little house in the prairie Christmas. My mom really likes that show. How the Grinch Stole Christmas animated. One of the best animated shows, like, period ever made. The Night Before Christmas. I, 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 don't, even look at, I don't even know what this is. I don't know if this is just one of those crappy, like, just, like, old 30s cartoons or what it is. Uh, the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, Rankin Bass, Bass version, Bass or Bass, um. Santa Claus is Coming to Town, the Rankin Bass version. Santa Claus, Disney movie, it's 
Yeah. Silent Night, Holy Night, and the Walt Disney Christmas. This is a cool VHS. It's just got a ton of different shorts that Disney made there about Christmas. And over here, uh, what's this right here? I have, um, that's Showbiz. This is the Tailspin VHS. The Jungle Book live action. Jonah, the VeggieTales movie. And Ice Age. Then I have Ants, Shrek, and Chicken Run. These are all the DreamWorks VHSs. Ants is pretty, uh, I didn't really like that one. <laughs> I haven't seen Chicken Run in a long time, but I won't watch that copy. Because that's wrecked one of our VHS players, so I just kind of stay away from that. I have a couple things right here. First of all, I have this movie called Making Contact that I've been trying to watch. I just had to buy it because of that cover. I mean, look at it. It's toys flying around and this kid being sucked in by a puppet. Yeah, really weird movie. Um, right here I have Mary Poppins. I was trying to watch that movie after I saw Saving Mr. Banks. And then I have this movie, one of my favorite movies ever, Kick Butt, 21 Jump Street. These are, oh, these are my Blu-rays, by the way. And down here we have, we'll just look at everything. Um, 21 Jump Street, ugh, 21 Jump Street, 500 Days of Summer. 21 Jump Street, by the way, was probably the best movie of 2012. Really weird because, I don't know, I didn't even ex expect it to be good, but it was. Alien, Aliens. The Amazing Spider-Man, really good. That was the best Spider-Man movie. The Avengers, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, one of my favorite movies. Breakfast Club, Chronicle, really, really good. Um, what are those movies called? Shaky Cam, Lost, oh, Found Footage Movies. The Campaign, really funny Will Ferrell movie. Fight Club, Forrest Gump. The Goonies, Gremlins, and Gremlins 2. Gremlins 2 is a really obnoxious sequel, but it's really fun to watch. Hangover, Hangover Part 2, which I like the Hangover Part 2, all right. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Yeah, that was the final Harry Potter movie I was missing. It's right here. Inception, The Italian Job, Men in Black on Blu-ray, Pacific Rim. That's a really good movie. That's, well, I mean, there's a couple cliches, but, you know, it was all right. It was, I, I think they're all right to have in that movie. It was really enjoyable. Project X, that movie's really dumb. <laughs> Pulp Fiction, Sin City, Social Network, one of my favorite movies, Star Trek Into Darkness, Superbad, really funny movie, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, including Turtles in Time, even though that wasn't the original title for it, they added it after people kept calling it that, um, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, this is the end, probably one of the better Probably one of the best 2013 movies. Thor, Up in the Air, and then here's some TV seasons, DuckTales. All the seasons are on DVD. I, ha I made a video about that. My Name is Earl, the complete series. It ended on the cliffhanger. Re made me really mad. It's one of my favorite TV shows. Um, the Real Ghostbusters Volume 1. The Simpsons Season 9. I should have got Season 8 because that's the best season of The Simpsons. Uh, that 70s show, season 1 and 2, those are probably the best seasons of that show, because that show kind of slowly gets dumb as you go in, like go farther into it. ACDC Plug Me In, that's just a series of uh, ACDC concerts. Uh, How I Met Your Mother, that's, um, these are my sisters, just, yeah, just some random episodes here and there. And then Star Wars, you know, I have the, all the DVDs. A lot of them are in full screen, so I hate them. But they're just sitting here because now I got the Blu-rays. Pirates of the Caribbean series, those are my sisters, but I watch them way more. Uh, Hometown Legends, Tombstone, and then a couple Harry Potter movies that are on full screen. And I got, I upgraded them to widescreen. And then, uh, of course, Hugo. I have another copy, hasn't been open. I might give it to someone as a gift, I don't know yet. Then there's this red case, but that just has a bunch of, like, random, like, DVDs and stuff that, they're not even movies, they're just, like, random crap I got from random places, and, yeah, that's my whole shelf, that's just about everything, and, um, thanks for watching, this is just my whole DVD shelf, every single movie I own.